Yo, what is up YouTube men? Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the best 3 and D off guard build in NBA 2K22 current gen. Real quick, if you guys know if you want to drop me a like and subscribe, of course, I would appreciate it a ton. This is one of the build names that is brand new to 2K22. You can get it on next gen and current gen with the position. You are an off guard, so it makes sense to make it at the shooting guard position with the pie charts. There's two you can use. You can use the Hall of Fame shooting, Hall of Fame defense, which is this one, the red green, or you could use the one down here, which is more green than red this pie chart is going to give you the better attribute and badge upgrades for this build i'm going to show you guys how to make it with the physical profile now if you want to make it to where you get 99 speed and 98 acceleration definitely go with the top if you're not too worried about having a 99 speed you know where you're still in the 90s but you want your vertical to be higher you can go down a couple and get the one with a lot more vertical but i would say go with the top now there's two rules to get this build name first thing you can max out your three-pointer but your mid-range cannot be above an 86 if you give it to 87 it's going to be called a two-way three-point facilitator or a two-way sharpshooter instead and then with the pass accuracy it's got to be one below if you have it at 78 it's going to call you a two-way three-point facilitator so if you're looking for that build name you can do that if not that is how you do it now with the finishing all i care about is having the driving dunk stat yeah i can have layup close shot standing dunk post hook but i'm not really caring about that i'm trying to play defense shoot and handle the ball when i get it so with the shooting badges i'm going to upgrade my free throw and my post fade to get 24 shooting the max you can have is 25 24 is plenty for me and then with the playmaking i'm gonna put up my post moves so i get 12 playmaking you see if you put a whole bunch more on it won't even give you an extra badge so it's not worth it i'm just saving the attributes right there and then the defense i'm maxing it all man 21 defensive and rebounding badges yes this build is more of a perimeter defender but having block having rebound having interior defense if you like playing ones if you're in a situation where you're on the threes court without a big you can actually handle yourself with this build and you see the badge count, I mean, ton of shooting, ton of defense, and you're going to have solid playmaking. With the body shape, you're going to be pretty small, so it's, I mean, it doesn't make sense to go burly, but you can really choose whatever you want. With the height, now 6'4", six, 6'3", six, either of those are good. If you're more worried about just guarding play shots, then you can go 6'3". But if you want to have a little bit more size, in case you're in a situation where you're guarding somebody that's an ISO player, you can go 6'4". With the weight, you know, just try to get as much speed as possible. We don't really care too much about strength, interior defense on this build, and the wingspan. Of course, max it. It's going to be a lock build. You see, we get the 74 ball handle. If you want to go 6'3", so you get the 75 ball handle off rip, you can. But at 6'4", you're going to need to hit 96 to unlock those dribble animations, if you even care about that. The takeover shock rating, sharp and lock, and you see we get 3 and Z off guard shades of clay thompson that's all we care about that it's exactly what you want from this build playing defense shooting the ball handling the ball whenever you get it you know you're not just a liability that's why we have that 72 driving dunk in the situation where they're playing too high you can dribble get past them dunk it looking at everything i mean you're gonna have a 99 speed with the gym rat and the plus four same thing 98 acceleration with uh, almost an 80 vertical the driving dunk is gonna be a 76 so you get those 75 moves unlocked at 98 overall and the shooting defense play making it all speaks for itself with the finishing badges i mean it doesn't really matter limitless takeoff posterizer whichever one of those you want to throw on it's not going to make you know the world a difference we're not going to be contact dunking on people but if we get past them you're going to be able to dunk efficiently with the shooting badges this build is 100 meant to be a catch and shoot player so sniper hot zone corner specialist catch and shoot some dead eye clutch shooter is always a nice boost just to have it on bronze now mismatch expert if you think you know you want to go 6-3 6-2 with this build that could be a badge that comes into play limitless spot up will be great if you're going as somebody who's handling the ball because you can't do that with this build you can change it up put on things like difficult shots circus threes green machine is always great rhythm shooter if you play like that if you dribble like that they're all good badges with the playmaking badges now again, this build is not really meant to be a main ball handler, but if you are playing like that, you know, you're playing with the big on the twos, then you can put on things like hyperdrive, handles for days, quick chain, bailout, bullet passer, unpluckable, all great badges to have on. You know, everything else, downhill, break starter, they would be good for rec and pro but not the most important playmaking badges in the game. And then with the defense, you get 21. It's going to be a lot because you can only get a max gold. And remember, you do unlock more badges as your level gets higher in different seasons. So you can even put more on defense. But clamps, pickpocket, interceptor, hustle, chase down artist, rim protector. This build does get rim protector, which is pretty insane. Menace, intimidate. 
Terminator, Pogo Stick if you're playing the ones, Post Move Lockdown if you're playing the ones. I mean, you can kind of switch it around based on how you play, who you're playing with. Ball Stripper on Bronze is always huge too. Let me know what you guys think of the build, man. This is Tonic. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.